Space, the final frontier. All right, guys, we are R Knights. My name is Gerard. I'm Ray. I'm Julian. I'm Alex. And we're here hitting you guys with another episode from Star Trek. Yes, sir. This is uh, episode, episode four, four. Baby. The Naked Time. Ooh. Star I Trek, the original skin. series. Now, we have been, uh, I've been getting comments uh, on, the, on the channel like, where's Star Trek? <laughs> Where is Star Trek? I missed it. Like, well, I where missed are it. Star Trek? Like, I missed might it. Might be like a curse word or two. And so I do know we this Star So guys, we are watching episode four. We have another special uh, Star Trek episode. We saw one out of order. This was a Patreon special. Uh, was a super request, special request to watch the other, but we'll talk about that when we get there. But there is other more Star Trek coming, just to let you know, yeah. okay, of the original series. I was yeah. I was so upset I missed that one. I, I I know I had something important that day. Oh, my anniversary. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I was upset that I missed it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. What, I don't know why you have a girl. <laughs> <laughs> but I was I really wanted to watch that one. But I'm glad we're back into it. But we have seen we have seen. Uh, uh, some woman who turned into whatever she wanted to turn into, she needed salt. Episode one. Mm -hmm. The second one brought us the super monster to today. Mm -hmm. So far, he we rank these guys, we ranking them. Thanos, he's number one. <laughs> show us, show us, show us. So we, 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 we're ranking our Star Trek villains as how bad is it? Number one, Charlie. to this very day, is Charlie. Charlie. Charlie X, Charlie. I still have nightmares on Charlie. I think I'm an iguana sometimes. And episode three was uh, Gary, his friend Gary. Yep. Who had uh, uh, Captain Kirk's friend Gary, <clears throat> who happened to have some second power because they went into some field and whatnot. He yep. was strong, but so far we have not seen anybody who fought Charlie. But with that said, we also reacted to Firefly because we are on our quest to find out who do we think is the best captain to follow and you start the, uh, on each fleet, right? So so far we see Captain Kirk, we seen Captain Malcolm, mm -hmm. right? Mm. Soon we're gonna be watching uh, uh, Battlestar Galactica to see who why, if we're gonna follow that captain. So we're gonna be comparing a couple of captains. There's only three shows that we mentioned off the top. Uh, there'll be other shows to watch, but we don't, we want to rank who we think is the best leader and captains that we will have no problems uh, uh, following. My so, boy Hansy's not in there. Hansy, I Hanzo. Think it'll be cool. I Hanzo? think if maybe like after we, you know, we have a good um, aspect of all three shows. Like I said, because we already watched Firefly, we're watching Star Trek, and which one, which one is the one that you just mentioned? About Star Trek. So when we watch that one, I think we should create our own teams. Well, I, I want to make I want to make a list. And we'll, yeah, we'll that's go. what I'm saying. We'll like, go. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll find out who, who's who and what. If, you, if, if right now, if right now it's just sweet. You're not on Captain Kirk's team. Then you might as well just get yeah, out of this. Right now, right Captain, now. But, but Malcolm is close, though. Malcolm's pretty good. Malcolm's, yeah, he Malcolm's pretty good. Yeah, no, right? he wasn't Mal Captain listen, Clark, right? I like Malcolm. Malcolm hasn't faced Charlie. So Mal unless, Mal unless Charlie <laughs> comes out of Firefly, then. True, but, but, but Captain Kirk's like, well, we can fix him. Mm. Malcolm's like, pow! Get out of here. <laughs> Done. Airlock. Quick. Ain't no time for this. <laughs> Ain't no time for this. So you got to respect water. that. You got to respect yeah. that. All right? What do we got? This is, again, episode four. The original series, Naked Time, let's get to this. Captain's Log, our position, orbiting side 2000, an ancient world, now a frozen wasteland. Yeah, about to say something nice. Observe the disintegration of the planet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I'm actually excited to watch this. That must have been a painful death. Look at this suit. Check out the life support systems. Right, Jack. Is that a mannequin? No, it's a woman. All life systems were off, sir. That does look awful right like a mannequin. Yeah. And the other four are back there. Dead? Right, sir. Better look for yourself, Mr. Spock. One man was taking a shower, fully clothed. Close. Don't tell me he's gonna take off. Imagine it wakes up, bro. Oh, why? Yep. What are you doing this for? I had a feeling. Oh boy. It's gonna be the same thing. Oh. Oh no. Mm. 
Yep, his hand's getting cold. Won't you lick it while you're at it? Yep. It's like nothing we've dealt with before. You're about to bring go. it up! Bring it up, bring it up. Bring it up, bring it up. Bring it up. <laughs> bring it right up. Honestly, sometimes it's not even like the planet being the most dangerous. It's what they're bringing to the ship. It's always why they bring it into the ship, Literally. Literally. That's a problem. Either let's check it out, or what this guy just. This is the first time they do this. This is this is sneaking in the yeah. ship. To be fair, this is sneaking in the ship. But somehow they're always making it in the ship. Something dangerous always making inside the ship. This ship is more dangerous than the planet. But you saw that blood point. though. It was like, listen, all I know. That is was pretty good effects. All I know is if these people were in the Warhammer series, they'd already be dead. Well, Mr. Scott. Yes, sir. Decontaminate. Okay. So that should do it. Ah, ah. Your pulse is 242. Your blood pressure is practically non-existent. The readings are perfectly normal for me, doctor. Thank you. He's itchy? He came out normal. Maybe it's parasitic. Uh, it, no, but it's also their database probably never had, doesn't, doesn't recognize this. They didn't mm. see anything like this. An engineer sitting there apparently oblivious to everything. A woman strangled, a crewman with a phaser pistol in his hand. Not even a theory, gentlemen? Definitely not drugs or intoxication. Could what happened down there to those people create any unusual danger to this vessel and crew? Hey, Joey. You feeling all right? Get off me. You don't rank me and you don't have pointed ears, so just get off my neck. Jeez. What's within? He's going through it right now. We're all a bunch of hypocrites. Stick our noses into something that we've got no business. Take it easy. Now, calm down. Oh! If a man was supposed to fly, he'd have wings. He's being irrational right now. We don't belong here. Is he gonna kill himself? It, it, it's not ours. Take the knife, take the what knife. What are you doing, Joey? Take it. Hey, Joey, put the knife down. Sulu. Did he stab himself? Dude, that's... Everybody thinks he's standing it now. That's in the air. But he got blood on him. Yep, so now it's airlock the whole crew. <laughs> yep, it's the it's the blood. Ooh, it's the blood, yeah. It, yeah, at first I thought it was like the touch or anything, but no, it would just be the blood. I would shut down life support in that whole second. <laughs> Close the door. What would Malcolm do? He would have everybody. That's, that's... And they both there. They both contaminated. The Mullins record three. He didn't even ask him what he wants. He's like, she knows exactly what he wants. The hell is that? A torch? I thought that was a blood torch. I thought he was trying to go. Hey, creme brulee. He's dead, Doctor. The wounds were not that severe. Hey, why don't you come down to the gym with me? Give him the lad. Now? Why not? It's like a little kid. If somebody did that to me and I've known them for years, I'd probably be very suspicious. Where is Mr. Sulu? Have no fear, O'Reilly's here. And one Irishman is worth 10,000. Relieved, you... Mr. O'Reilly. Lieutenant Uhura, take over this station. <laughs> you have such lovely eyes. Pretty lady. You know what Joe's mistake was? He wasn't born an Irishman. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> it's hitting him a little bit differently, huh? So is it... Can he do it through touch now, too? Yeah, before it was the blood, now they can do it through touch. Well, it's on their hands, it seems like. So he touched mm. her face. What the... Bro, at first I thought it was the other dude. Yeah, that's definitely George Takei. <laughs> you either need this uh, blood, 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 blood. He may be killing one of them in a minute. With my blood if that's sharp. on your songs. <laughs> <laughs> it's making them like crazy. 
but they're enjoying it. So it's like maybe they're high or something. There we go. Ooh. To the floor. <laughs> no, that was Spock. That was Spock. Spock did. <laughs> we have less than 20 minutes before we enter planet atmosphere. And burn up. I know, Mr. Spock. Uh, he's had. He's about to beat some people up. This is not going to be. He's good. about to crack some heads open. Kirk just touched him. Oh, he did. But he touched his hand. But it was bare skin, right? In the future, all female crew members will wear their hair loosely about their shoulders. And now, crew, I will render Kathleen one more time. Please, not again. <laughs> this is the singing that's. The thing is killing him. Please try to cut him off. Sir, if I could cut him off, don't you think I... Oof. They're all mad. They're losing it. And this disease is not helping either. Distressed. Mr. Spock. 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 Uh-oh. He well, knows he's, he's an alien, so it might not affect him. Or his, or his sensitivity <gasps> could end up being higher, like hearing, smell. No dance tonight. Phase him! But he's so nonchalant by everything he's been doing. Well, remember, he's like drugged, well, basically. Yeah. So. I'm, I can't wait to see Spock's real desire. Unlike everybody else, he's fighting it. Yeah. <laughs> how are they? It's like every episode. How are they going to beat this? Captain, you can't mix matter and antimatter. Cold. We go up with the biggest explosion. We can balance our. Oh, they're about to do something cold. highly risky right the now. Captain's about to go crazy. Yeah. He's about to do something nuts. Mr. Spock is not on the bridge, Captain. <laughs> Making hear some, him? Making some toilet paper. That's how we missed it. It passed from man to man through perspiration. Once in the bloodstream, it acts like alcohol. Doug, will you let me out of here? I'm all right. Release! I'm not kidding! <laughs> I'm not joking, Lee! Spent a whole lifetime learning to hide my feelings. Oof. Ooh, Spock that strong? Water right now, then. Spock that strong? Well, he's not human, so... Bridge to Captain. Engineer asked, did you find... Yes, I found Mr. Spock! Did he Spock just... Spock did he just smack the speaker? Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's a theoretical relationship between time and antimatter. Flesh woman to touch, to hold. Help. Help them. Clear the corridors. The turbo lift. Hurry. Be strong, Kurt! Come on, baby! But he never touched anybody. Or he when did. he got Bye. smacked. The doctor was talking about that it acts like an uh, like alcohol. Direction, sir. Direction. It doesn't matter. The way we came. Are they about to go to a hyperdrive or something? They're about to boost energy with a, a way they never could before. Captain. My velocity gauge is off the scale. Engine power went off the scale as well. We're now traveling faster than is possible. My chronometer's running backwards, sir. Is it time travel? Yeah. Time warp. We're going backwards in time. That's crazy, Doug. Yeah, they're just inventing. They just invented. Up oh, there. Yep. We're back to normal time, Captain. We've regressed in time 71 hours. It is now three days ago, Captain. Oh, hours. Jesus. This does open some intriguing prospects, Captain. We can go back in time. We may risk it someday, Mr. Spock. We might be seeing Resume some to planets we've already seen. Mr. If that's the ladies. case, they might go back. They discovered a, like a, a time a time traveling. Board. They discovered wow. time traveling, wow. bro. We might. They might be going back. They discovered time travel? Basically. No way, dog. They might be going back if that's the case. They discovered time travel? Well, if, if, that means that in some episode they'll probably be using that. For yeah. Sure. 
and it's probably being used in, in the newer Star Trek show that are that like happen. normal. Right? They, by they, now they we're, we're like, there. oh wow, now we know I, how. That was different in the sense that they had to deal with a different type of trouble. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't like some guy or some girl or some monster. It was them, and they had to deal with their own thoughts, their with own themselves. emotions, and whatnot, their, desires. their own desires through that whatever whatever that virus was. But in the same course, well, they would. They, I thought they were like, "How are they gonna this thing?" They're about to crash on this planet, and then this is happening. Uh, this was really good. I thought this was a good episode. It was you know, good. Is, it was. And, just... and, and, and it wasn't the other the other ones that we've seen. The way like shocking and maybe a little bit hokey and comical. This was like we really had to think about this one. We really had to think about what's going on here and how they're gonna figure get out of this this, uh, this problem they're in. This one was different. This is different because I really didn't see a way out. I didn't see like um. It was just weird. It was spreading. It was weird. I, I didn't really see. Like they didn't have a plan. Normally they're like, oh, we have to, we have to do this. We have to take him here and do this. This one it was just like. And everybody was vulnerable. Yeah. Everybody was vulnerable. Cause they even got to, they even got to the captain. Yeah. But definitely in this one, you can definitely see that they definitely had to like act, um, like. Not how they normally did, just to you know pretend like the disease have it with them. Because even as a viewer themselves, you also ended up having to remember, oh, they have a disease inside. That's why they're acting like this, or mm. that's why they they their mentality changed like right there. But if you didn't I, think about it, you wouldn't have noticed it. Well, it yes, be, which that was a bit difficult. Which it was a, di- get, a bit difficult to follow with. It didn't end up being a disease. It was something in the water. Yeah, yeah the which molecules. is that was how they got infected. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to say. What you're saying, yeah, what you're saying is that bit difficult as opposed to the other, the, the other episode that we've seen, there's always like a villain. And this one, this was all science. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This was all science. Yeah. yeah. This was all, we got to deal with the elements. We got to deal with whatever science this is. Mm-hmm. We got to figure out how to jump drive out of here with some new formula. That's crazy. Like, it, it, this was like the, the writing, the writing in this story I brought it up a little higher in terms of in terms of, like the, the level of intelligence in this. Yeah. Not just some some oh, some monster this week. Right. <coughs> and it looks like we found out that Spock actually does have feelings, though he controls them. He controls them, um, because he, I mean, he's half human. Yeah. He's not. He's not one hundred percent. You know, well, Vulcan and whatnot. You know. I like this episode a lot. I like. I, I thought this this show this particular episode elevated. The show for me in terms of where they can go, you know, and and, and what they can do. Like, because space is infinite, you know. Right. Yeah. You can be super creative in telling your stories here, and the fact that we went here, we went to a deep science, you know. This this was again a virus. We have to get a cure for this. We got to find out a, 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 a what do you call that? A, a serum. To, yeah. The, the, the find a cure for yeah. this. And I, I just loved it. I just loved it, and I liked it. the captain too. Like, at the same time. <clears throat> I was seeing some parts that were annoying, but it makes sense that it was like that. Like the guy singing was driving me crazy. Yeah, that it, guy singing was driving me nuts, bro. You know, no. and I was like, oh, okay, this guy's gonna stop. That, that truly put me to sleep. And then you saw uh, uh, Sulu was a sword in one. I was like, what is going on? Okay, no, that, that, that was, I was like, like oh, okay, I can see how it's you know changing your mentality. Like he's thinking this is a game or anything like that. Um, and he doesn't know how he's putting everybody else in danger. But when it came to like. Like how you said it, you know, where everybody else, you know, it can act different with them. So for some people, it was just like it was hard to follow that they were also being affected. And, you know, but like you said, this is all involved science. So it was ver- it was definitely a different aspect on, you know, the episodes we normally see. Yeah. So that's fine. Well, I did enjoy this. I'm going to give a thumbs up for this yep. episode. So, I, so far, I have not seen an episode that has gotten me like I'm not into it. I'm more, I really am into this. Uh, guys, if you like what we're doing, guys, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button if you like what we're doing. Uh, please leave a, a comment in the, in the comment section if you have something to say uh, about our reactions or more information about this particular episode that we really did love. Uh, we also have a Patreon channel, a Patreon page, excuse me, a Patreon page, and we also have some merch. Uh, guys, if you want to support us, please, you know, feel free for a little as one dollar. All these episodes that we are reacting to on Star Trek. They're all available on Patreon, mm-hmm. uh, <coughs> on editors. You can follow along, syncing it up. All right, guys? So we appreciate you guys supporting us, guys. I am Ray. I'm Alex. I'm Joe Hard. I'm Julian. Guys, take care. Thanks for following us. We're our nice. Have a good day. Peace.